this initiative and these events will help inspire and motivate the future generation to dream big dreams, to think the seemingly impossible, and to just go for it. And that was the machine that allowed us to do the first gene targeting experiment. This was actually a reviewer's comment on the, the Nobel Prize winning paper. Wild speculation based on faulty logic is not the kind of thing you want your uh, peers to say about your work. It's very important to be surrounded by great people, to meet great people, to ask them some questions. What do you think makes a good scientific question? How easy have you found it to balance your work and personal life? What do you think is the relationship between cooperation and individual talents in scientific research? Uh, so it's a good question. It's kind of like a marriage. They ask these marvelous questions. You know, they're not naive questions, and uh, and they force you to think anew. I'm feeling thrilled and inspired and motivated. Uh, I just need to get back to the lab. And that's when you know you have a discovery. When your boss says it can't be right. <laughs> we want to inspire students and researchers uh, to further their efforts and be excited about pursuing careers in research. And uh, I felt that if I can help students by giving them a little bit of that feeling, then will I, have, I will have earned my Nobel Prize. It's useful for young people to know that if you do science and you do complex science, you're going to get it wrong some of the time. And if you're not getting it wrong, you're just doing boring experiments. It's kind of a experience of a lifetime to actually have a Nobel laureate to come over and give a talk. If you meet great people, more or less you become greater yourself. 